playing your whole life's past What you did in the open of what you إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله Brothers and sisters in Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back to the inevitable journey the last episode I know some of you were very disturbed by the fact that the first three kinds of people from this ummah who will be called to reckoning are Hafiz someone who memorized the Quran someone who will spend who would have spent his money in the cause of Allah someone who spent his life in the battlefield fighting for the cause of Allah brothers and sisters in Islam I know this disturbed you it disturbed Abi Huraira radiallahu an the narrator of the hadith but this should not turn you away from memorizing the Quran this should not turn you away from spending in the cause of Allah this does not turn you away from fighting in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brothers and sisters in Islam let's spend this episode inshallah before we continue on with the rest of the scenes of reckoning which will cover the first thing that will be asked about inshallah and talk about this topic and explain it what is showing off what is shirk means brothers and sisters in Islam this is what it means that you do something that in your heart which is the container of sincerity the heart in your heart you're seeking others beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meanwhile the deed that you're doing looks like a deed that is done for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the case of those three they memorized, they taught the Quran, they recited the Quran, or they taught the knowledge, they spent in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or they spent their life for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In their hearts, they were doing this in order for the people to call them with these titles. And that is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala held you accountable. Even so, the deed in front of everybody likes uh, it seems like a deed that is actually you should be uh, envied for. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in hadith Abdullah ibn Mas'ud and the hadith in the two sahih, la hasada illa fitnatayn. There is no ghiptah or hasad, but accept envy, but accept in two things. Someone whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives knowledge and he teaches it to the people, and someone whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives money and he spends it in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But yet, you must do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sincerely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the word showing off hypocrisy or shirk, they are the same in a way. And this is what is being meant here, that those people in their heart, they have something else, but with their actions, it seems like it is done for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So showing off, is once you do something for uh, uh, others but this deed uh, it seems or it looks like a deed that is done for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like you praying in the masjid and you show the khushua and in your heart you want the people to see you praying you want the people to call you oh he's a person who prays or you go and spend and you want the people to say that he's a spender brothers and sisters in Islam if this riya if this showing off or if this uh, basically uh, nifaq or shirk in the fundamental of the deen, of the religion, إِذَا كَانَ فِي أَصْلِ din, the scholars say that this person is a kafir. What do you mean by that? That in the outside, he's saying, I'm a Muslim, أَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ 
أَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدَ الرَّسُولُ اللَّهِ We have to be careful here. But inside his heart, he hates Islam. He hates the Muslims. He would love for Islam to lose. This person is a kafir. And those are the people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about them in the Quran. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَقُولُ آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ وَبِالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَمَا هُمْ بِمُؤْمِنِينَ And amongst mankind are some who say, we believe in Allah and the day of resurrection, but they are not believers. What they are doing? يُخَادِعُونَ اللَّهَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا They deceive Allah and those who believe. But we have to be careful. I have no right. You have no right to label them kafirs. We cannot. We cannot do this. this. We have to be very careful here. Let's place things in perspective. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one to judge them. As long as they say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah, khalas, they are Muslims. And leave them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if you see signs of hypocrisy there, then you become aware of those. So this is called riyah, showing off or nifaq or hypocrisy in asl al-i'tiqad, in the religion, in the fundamentals of the deen, in la ilaha illallah, Muhammad rasulullah. And this is, of course, this is the type of shirk or showing off that will cause all your deeds to be in vain in the day of resurrection. إن الله لا يغفر أن يشرك به ويغفر ما دون ذلك لمن يشاء ولقد أوحي إليك وإلى الذين من قبلك لإن أشركت لا يحبط عملك ولا تكون من الخاسرين. It was revealed to you, O Muhammad, and those messengers before you, that if you commit shirk, this is the type of shirk that you you will lose all your deeds. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the second type of showing off is in the deeds. Is in the deeds that you actually, while you are doing the deed, you believe that person will say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. You tell him to worship an idol, say, No, I'm a Muslim. You tell him to give up, La ilaha illallah. No, I'm a Muslim. But he would show off with his deed. He would recite the Quran to show off. He would spin to show off. Uh, and normally those people, and Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, given us five characteristics in two hadith. Hadith Abi Hurairah and Hadith Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As. Ayatul Munafiq Thalath. He lies. Ida haddatha kathab. Wa ida wa'ada akhlaf. If he promises, he break his promises. Wa ida tumina khan. And once he entrusted with something, he will betray his entrust. He will commit treason. And if he is uh, uh, quarreling with you, he will do whatever it takes to put you down. وَإِذَا خَاصَمَ fajr. Those are two hadith in Sahih Bukhari or Muslim. And the, the wording of Abi Hurairah and the wording of Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As. These are the signs. If you, if you lie, if you betray, if you break your covenant, if you commit treason, if you uh, become so abusive once you quarrel with somebody, rest assured that you will end up committing some of the showing off but this is in the deeds. Ibn Rajab al-Hanbali, and, 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 and this is a beautiful, pay attention to this piece because it will help you. It will help you. Because uh, I, I'm just concerned because of the hadith that I quoted last episode, that now people, okay, I'm not going to memorize the Quran because I'm afraid I'm going to be showing off. I'm not going to spend in the cause of Allah because I'm afraid. I'm not. No, this is not what is meant by this. What is meant by this is you must develop sincerity, strive to be sincere in what you do. Look at Ibn Rajib al-Hanbali, what he said, Rahimahullah. He said, if the shirk is at the origin of the deed, like for example, you want to memorize the Quran, and you want to memorize the Quran for Allah and also to show off, this deed will not be accepted. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and the hadith of Imam Muslim, hadith Abi Huraira, hadith Qudsi, hadith Ilahi, Ana agna shuraka'i an shirk. I'm all sufficient. I need no partners. Man amila amalan ashraka fihi ma'i ghayri taraktuhu wa shirka. Whoever does an act, and he associates someone in worship in, with, with me in this act, him and his partner go away. Uh, a companion came to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he said, "Oh, Messenger of Allah, I like to fight in the cause of Allah for Allah, and at the same time, I want to be known as uh, uh, basically a, a, a courageous person. Allah, uh, what do I get?" Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam told, "La shay, nothing. La shay, nothing. La shay, nothing." So, if the origin of the deed, you came to the masjid in order to pray, and at the same time you want the people to see you praying. This deed will be rejected, will be in vain. But this does not make you a, a, a kafir, akhi. No, this is this that this particular deed will not be accepted from you. Now, 
Sometimes the origin of the deed, you did it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Originally you intended this deed to be for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But while you are performing the deed, shaitan came in and say, ah, do this for this too. Like for example, you started khushu, you're having the salah for Allah, and by all of a sudden you saw one of your buddies watching you. And then you start developing feelings of showing off. Let me perfect my salah because he's looking at you. Okay, the scholars uh, have a view over this, that the deed will be accepted as long as this person does not entertain that feeling, that motion that happened. But if he entertains it, then the uh, reward of the deed will be uh, decreased. Brothers and sisters in Islam, understanding this topic is so important because sincerity is one of the conditions for your deed to be accepted. How can you develop sincerity in your deeds? How can you seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order not to show off, in order not to commit shirk? This is something so important and so vital because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told you in the Quran, in a piece of verse, in surah, at the end of surah al-Kahf, فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُوا لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ If you are truly longing to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا Let him do a righteous deed. وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا And don't associate someone with Allah in this deed. In order for the deed to be righteous, two conditions must be there. Beside the first condition, which is, alhamdulillah, being a Muslim. Condition number one, it must be done sincerely for Allah. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَقْبَلُ مِنَ الْعَمَلِ إِلَّا الْخَالِصِ إِلَّا مَا كَانَ خَالِصَ سُنَنْ النَّسَائِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not accept a deed but is sincere. أَلَا لِلَّهِ الدِّينُ الْخَالِصِ To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the sincere deen. So sincerity, number two, this deed must be done according to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's take a short break and come back and find out how can we develop sincerity once you perform, once we perform our deeds, to, so these deeds will be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and afterwards we will continue on unfolding the scenes of reckoning of the day of judgment, the inevitable journey. Take a short break. I'll be back. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The scale of justice will be brought before man. Now you shall have to explain your whole life span. Reviewing the second rule of al mim as sakina That is the letter Mim. So if the first Mim is non-vowel or sakina followed by a voweled Mim. So I will merge the first in the letter and I will pronounce them as one. وَآمَنَهُمْ مِّنْ And we spoke abundantly on the virtues of seeking refuge with Allah from the outcast Satan. Especially for the first reciter, he's got to recite it out loud. وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الْبُرُوجِ أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فَإِذَا جَاءَتِ الصَّاخَّةِ وَإِذَا النُّفُوذُ زُوِّدَتْ Make sure it's dhamma وَإِذَا النُّوْ وَإِذَا النُّفُوسُ Thank you for joining us.